Well, a lot of people have sent me this, so this should be a good one. Let's see. I already like the uh I already like the cat ears, the glasses, um the was this the nuclear lo fallout logo or whatever? Like the nuclear lo <laughs> what is what the hell? It's all kinds of red flags going on here. But okay. Guys are out here on the heels of the attempted Trump you guys um, can I get your reaction to what happened the other day well it's a shame the person missed but um, okay. it's ironic that the shooter was also a Republican and I am scared about political violence so you really th you really think that the person who actually is really a Republican was the one who was trying to take out Trump I'm going to bet that that makes them mentally ill, but that's, I'm just going to guess. You're scared of political violence, but you th was, you were hoping that he wouldn't have missed. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you're scared of, I, I'm, I'm very concerned about political violence happening. You know what though? It's really too bad that the political violence didn't kill Trump. Wow. See already this person's ridiculous. Well, it's a shame the person missed, but um, it's ironic that the shooter was also a Republican, and I am scared about political violence. You're scared of political violence, but you th was you were hoping that he wouldn't have missed. Yes. Wow. C could you elaborate on that? I mean, many people are <laughs> thankful that the shooter missed and could have led to a lot of conflict in the country. Regardless if Trump is in power or not, he has a lot of influence. And You know, um, the contradictions are everywhere. The rainbow thing, the cat ears, but then the nuclear symbol. Like uh, That makes him a very dangerous person, and nothing will stop. And we want to live, and sometimes... Who's not living? Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter that included one of my favorite quotes that sometimes the tree of liberty needs to be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants do you you know who else quoted that um in the movie the rock the bad guy terrorist uh hummel said that and then um uh sean connery's character said uh patriotism is the virtue of the vicious <laughs> it's funny that she or whatever this is is on the side of a crazy patriot usually that's funny tyrants do you hope to see others also quote, if all that holds true do you want to see others try what this young man tried at the trump rally hmm. i don't know if it would do any good Okay. okay, so I want him to be killed, but I hope there's no violence. But even if he was killed, I don't know if it would do any good. But he should be because we need to stop him. So we're like all over the place with don't like none of this fucking makes any sense at this point. Right. Like we can all agree that so far, like in, if you were to write these opinions down on like a circle, like a spherical, you know what I mean? Like spectrum like we're like all over the map here contradictions Interesting. Yeah. i see you have a crossbow over here can you tell me a little bit more oh about my it, god decided to bring it here um, you have a, f a crossbow i have a crossbow like that crossbow over here can you tell me a little bit more about him why you decided to bring it here <laughs> um, you have a f i don't know what it is it looks like a crossbow yeah it, it's a pistol crossbow i don't like firearms this is a much safer alternative <laughs> I don't like firearms. This is a much safer alternative. It's really not. You can load it and shoot and kill somebody with it. A large arrow will pierce through the body of somebody. Like this almost similar to a bullet. Maybe even more horrifically. I don't think it's much safer. Or not safe. I don't like firearms. This <laughs> but you like crossbows. Both kill people. This is a much safer alternative. It's not a much safer alternative. And it's used only for personal defense. Just like a gun. A gun is used for only personal defense. 
I guess, and a crossbow is being used as only personal defense. It's like the same thing. I mean, maybe a crossbow is a little bit safer because you have to load the arrow, pull the thing, and so it takes a little bit longer, but in the end, it's a deadly weapon. As an absolute last resort, wow. I hope I never have to use it. Did you feel, why did you feel compelled to bring it here? Do you feel unsafe? Very much so. Yeah. I'm absolutely terrified oh. to, to be here. Okay. I had one last question for you since it caught my eye. I see you have a hammer and sickle tattoo. Can you tell me more about this tattoo? I was born in the Soviet Union. Uh, I was brought here when oh boy. I was a little kid, but it's just a symbolism of where I came from. No, I do not support Russia. No, I don't condone anything that it does or that Putin has done. I would consider myself more of a socialist, but it, it's just a symbol of where I was born. Absolutely. All right, so this person is crazy or stupid. I, I'm not sure which one. Crazy, like mentally, there's something mentally wrong with this person. Like the way they're answering these questions, the tattoos they have versus the cat ears and the glasses and the rainbow mask, and they're carrying a crossbow. Like a lot of red flags here. This person is nuts. Just going to say it. Is there any other videos of this person? I don't know. Is she even old enough to have been born in the Soviet Union? I mean, didn't the Soviet Union end in 1989 or 1990? She looks, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, that's a mentally, that's a someone with mental illness. Uh, or that needs to see a psychiatrist. But instead, they're at the rally with... Confused thoughts, hyper scared of everything, but carrying a weapon. Like, that's the kind of person that would, like, shoot somebody for I, who knows what. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is very bizarre. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused, but I'm a little bit happier. Also, because I am happy because the news of the new Halloween costume is coming out and we all love to hear it. That's right. The new Secret Service DEI hire Halloween costume available now. You know, it doesn't look much different than that girl we just saw in that video. To be honest, you put a rainbow flag over this thing's face and a couple of sickle tattoos there and you got yourself a fucking uh, Secret Service DEI. So... I'm excited about that, aren't you? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, subscribe to the channel and uh, fund me at paypal.me slash Joe Cronin Show or patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show or uh, by just, I don't know, send me money. Rob a bank and send me money. Thanks so much. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button and share this everywhere you can. Also, at 2 in the morning, go outside and scream large one three times so your neighbors can hear you. We'll see you later.